tough ride from the get go. That's true metal, the right way, man. <laughs> Welcome to the American way. I love that. Man. It's the only way, the only language we all know. So, with the way the music industry is, we want a documentary. We want opinions from band. What can you do to help out bring the industry back up to where it once was? With the internet and everything, and how our sales are going down, and the bands aren't getting taken care of properly like they should. What do you feel your band, Behemoth, can do to help better that? And we're just doing what we're doing. We we're staying true, playing as many tours as we can, trying to promote this music and all our friends, and and you know take um, younger bands on tours with to support us, and, you know come up with any kind of idea that, that could work for, for promoting the metal music anywhere, you know, we're just doing our thing, that's pretty much it, what we can do. I wish it was better, actually the sales are going lower and lower, that's true, but that's these are the times that we live in, you know, time's just passing us by and we have to face it somehow. I don't like that either, I, I feel more, you know, like I should be playing 10 years ago or something. Now, not, now times are just not so friendly to um, sales and music in general. But it doesn't stop your drive to write good music. Not at all. <laughs> you, know, you guys have put out quite a few good albums lately, and you seem to be steadily going and getting better and better with each album. Hopefully that's that's how it is. What's your, what's your opinion on downloading when you've got Frostwire and LimeWire that's free and then you got iTunes and, yeah. and Zoom that you got to pay to get those, to get those songs of those bands? Uh, you know, as, as long as you have to pay for downloading, it's all fine, right? It's, it's selling the music anyway. But uh, like we had the story with this new album. It's coming out in three weeks and it's been online for two weeks already and well there, there's nothing we can do it's just sad that it happens but it happens and we have to face it somehow there's no way we can prevent that happening you know it's just sad what can I say so there was a I just got done doing a review on the newest monsters uh -huh. uh, of metal video I yep. think it was six and you guys are on it mm -hmm. I think twice in fact on disc one and disc two if I recall. My nephews and my son, I've been bringing them into the heavy metal scene and what it's about. When they saw Behemoth come on there and the whole makeup and everything, my nephew asked me to ask you, do you really truly believe in everything you guys write about the Satanists and the horror and, and, and the whole makeup? He, he, he was just, he's really interested in it because he really loves your guys' music. But the first thing his younger brother saw was all the makeup and it scared the living hell out of him. But yet my older nephew's like, do they really believe in that? We truly believe in what we do and just try to get into behemoth lyrics and we never do like we're Satanists. Just try to go into that stuff. We truly believe in what's there, but it's never uh, so obvious. There's just um, so much to talk about in it. And we're the same people on stage that we're off stage. We just doing a performance which is you know all the corpse paints and all the gear and everything but we we keep being the same people all the time so behemoth is us and we're not playing anything just for fun right so everybody on this tour has been talking about playing with cannibal corpse and mm -hmm. slayer slayer and yeah so i know you grew up listening to them just like we all have sure so what's it like for you to finally be on a tour with these guys Man, at, I, at this kind of a realm, this so big of a festival. If anybody asked me a question years ago, what would be the band to pick to be on tour with, I would never dare to say Slayer, right? I'm just so happy to be here. That's like a dream coming true, you know? Well, that, that's one of the first, very first bands that I've listened to. And it's just awesome. So, I've only got a couple more minutes that I'm allowed to interview sure. you. So, the next one I'm going to have to ask you. What's your favorite country to tour, man? Uh, it's hard to say. There's there's always something special about every place in the world. You know, I, I really like being on tour here. I really enjoy these people here. But at the same time, touring places like, I don't know, South America, it just gets totally crazy in there. Being in a place like Australia or Japan, 
is just so you know so different so so nice to experience so i wouldn't i wouldn't pick one there's always something about every place you know? do you ever see the emeth ever going to thailand uh actually we did go to thailand the only problem was that the show was cancelled due to some you know some weird reasons I've but gone. we were there i've gone there <laughs> with some of the unsigned yeah. bands and it's insane that an unsigned band can pull five to ten thousand yeah. people I would love to see what a behemoth show would actually pull there. Yeah, we're, we're definitely go, uh, gonna go um, there either next year or the year after. We're gonna try. And you guys have another Northwest tour planned after this? Uh, after this one, we're coming back to Poland, doing headlining tour in Poland, then headlining in Europe, then coming back here for the first US headlining tour, finally, with Marduk. With Marduk? Yeah. yeah. Huh? And you're actually headlining it? Yeah. I'm there for that, man. <laughs> Thanks for the Right on. Interview.